micrometer is one among the precision measuring instruments used to measure dimensions of objects especially very small whom accurate measurement cannot be achieved by using other common measuring tools or scales the measurement in a micrometer is actually carried out through an integrated screw that is why such meters are commonly referred as micrometer screw gauges as well this video describes the working principle of screw gauge its construction and operation the principle which screw gauges are works in in micrometer screw gauge measurements are done actually through a precisely made integrated screw with a pitch of usually but not necessarily 2 threads per millimeter which means that on completing exactly one revolution the displacement achieved is half of mm that is 0.5 mm now we will discuss about least count of screw gauge the least count of a screw gauge represents a minimum value of a dimension which measurable hence it actually shows the degree of accuracy to which an instrument can work the least count of screw gauge is represented as least count is equal to pitch of the screw divided by number of divisions on the circular scale if we are working with a screw whose pitch is half mm and the number of divisions on the circular scale is 50 then using the formula stated above least count for our micrometer is going to be least count is equals to 0.5 mm divided by 50 it means 0.01 mm this means that we can measure up to the 100 part of a mm micrometer screw gauge construction is not very complex in nature let us discuss the most common parts which remain same in different design and ranges the first part of the millimeter screw gauge is frame the body used to hold the anvil and barrel firmly in the place is called frame the micrometer screw gauges thick c shape the frames are used their mass helps in minimization of expansion of construction due to temperature some manufacturers also deliver gauges with insulated frames to serve the above mentioned purpose then the second part is anvil it is a fixed part mounted at one end of frame exactly parallel to the moving spindle which move towards it anvil face which comes directly in contact with the object being measured is machined extremely fine so to achieve highest degree of precision the next part is spindle the cylindrical part which displaces by rotation of thimble decreasing the clearance between itself and anvil until the object being measured becomes stable between the two of them in modern micrometer screw gauges anvil and spindles open face are tipped with the carbide the next part is screw or barrel the stationary part with having linear scale onto it called the main scale it also covers the screw mechanism of screw gauge now screw gauges are available with adjustable screws which makes it easy to eliminate the zero error the next part is screw it is the most important part of instrument because all measurement is done through it in fact very fine stainless steel screws are used for this purpose with a defined pitch The next part is thimble. It is the part through which measuring screws is rotated. This screwing results in the displacement of spindle and thimble itself. The next part is ratchet. Ratchet itself is a small device which is used to provide a limited applied force. It is installed at the right end of the screw gauge. Ratchet acts as a safety device for instruments and also adds more precision in measurements. final adjustment is made by making three turns of ratchet then the next part is locking device it is actually a nut whose operation is facilitated by means of a lever usually used to hold tight the spindle at its place so that current reading of that time could be maintained up to a desired length of time the last part of the screw gauge is scales Micrometer screw gauges comes with two scales one rotating scale which can be found on its rotating cylindrical part 
it is also called circular scale and the other one can be found on a stationary slew which is called main scale or slew scale some designs of instrument can also have a vernier scale as well